<laughs> well, I guess she's hangry right now, so we're off to get some food. But we've just seen this beautiful mosque right up here. It was really nice, actually, really interesting. Right as we walked in, we got like a 30 minute explanation from a woman who was working there. Um, so I had to wear something that covered my knees, but you two had to wear like more of like an outfit. It kind of looks, yeah, it looks like uh, what you wear for graduation. So that's what it kind of looks like, right? Like everything but the hat. And it's, just, and it's green as well, which is funny because my university you wore a green one, which is, yeah, ironic. But it was really cool. I, I don't think I've learned all that much about Islam, and this gave me a really good explanation. It's really close. It's in the center of Singapore. Yeah, easy to access. I think it took us maybe 10 minutes walk from the hostel. Okay. After a bit of negotiating, we've got some lavash bread with and, and a little bit of hummus. That was the negotiation. Can we get the $5 lavash bread with a bit of hummus? It's going to be the smallest amount you can imagine. The rustiest hummus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what we're even saying. We're like, it can be old hummus, doesn't have to be fresh. <laughs> Whatever hummus you can give us. Yeah, but mission accomplished for now. They did some hard negotiating. I was impressed, you know? Never Actually, I'll show you a little bit of the footage right now because I'm filming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm getting to yeah, yeah. It was good. You gotta do some serious bartering. That's a right. That's a decent amount of hummus. We've been like 50 for like some bread and hummus. We've got the lavash. It was like this big bubble, but now it's uh, a little bit smashed after it's been cut. <laughs> Yeah, $5 lavash, it's a good deal. Alright guys, how was the lavash? It, it was it, it stopped me getting hangry. Yeah. Not a winning review. No. But we're not hangry anymore, yeah. right? Yeah. found a place where you can get a selfie coffee where they take a picture of you and you end up on a coffee. It's innovative, it's interesting. I've not seen it before. <laughs> After exploring Arab Street, we took the MRT, Singapore's clean and efficient metro system. This was our first introduction to the various fines you can receive in Singapore. And the fines are hefty, so leave your durian fruits at home. We're here in the Botanical Gardens and we've got a list of more rules above us. So there's a lot of rules here in Singapore. Yeah, there are a lot in uh, like New Zealand, Australia. I think he's just looking for a nice bit to Sunday. The Botanical Gardens were our final stop on a momentous first day in Singapore.